Okay, resonance. So resonance is an awesome phenomenon. And the more you think about resonance, the more you realize how it's everywhere around us. So, examples of resonance. Uh, so, where, uh, where do I begin? So, famous examples of resonance is a marching band marching across a bridge. And they're asked to break stride, is that the expression? Because if they don't, there's a chance that the bridge will collapse. So a bridge that can handle trucks, megaton trucks, would collapse just because a marching band marches across it. Not walks across it, but marches across it. So it has to do with a drive, with a periodic drive and the frequency of that drive. Another example is what I mentioned last time in class, which is screaming, singing a note at a glass, and the glass shatters. And there was an episode of Mythbusters that confirmed that that can actually happen. And there is a legend, I don't know if that's true, that when the great baritone, Shalapin, sang in theaters that, that can't elaborate those, these elaborate lights that were hanging from the ceiling would fall down, would start swinging and fall down. There are other examples of resonance. For example, if you, if you play a string instrument, for example, the guitar, you will notice that when, when you pluck one string, another string starts to vibrate. So sometimes you have to keep your thumb on it to prevent it from making a note that you don't want to sound. Or in the piano, it's very common when uh, people talk about harmonics and what really goes into a particular note that one note can trigger another. If you gently press down one of the keys, for example, a G key, and play a lower G and let it go, that G will be silent, but you will hear that this G keeps playing because one note, one string, made another vibrate. Listen again. Clear as a bell. And there are many other examples. The reason why we can hear is by resonance. So I still haven't described resonance. I'm just trying to make an impressive list of things uh, that are due to resonance. And you know that when you sing in the shower, there's always one note that makes you, that makes you sound like an opera singer because the whole room begins to resonate. It's one of not too many words that has entered, uh, entered everyday vernacular. This resonates with me. Well, what does it mean? It's actually very accurate use of the scientific term when you hear an idea and you say it resonates with me. And so all of them, all of these examples, seem in a way like very complicated phenomena. Bridges are complicated. Musical instruments are complicated. The sensor hairs in your ear are very complicated. The structure of a glass is very complicated. Your voice is very complicated. So resonance sounds like a very complicated phenomenon. But you can get at the heart of resonance with very, very simple mathematics, with what we learned about ODEs until now. And so that's what I'm going to show. So maybe if this was a physics class, I would give you an intuitive explanation of resonance first, and then we would confirm it with mathematics, which I have always, even when I think of myself as a physicist, which is rare, I always think that's cheating, to know the answer in advance, and then to make sure that math proves it. I think it's always, uh, once you're dealing with math, and once you have the equations, you have, the, you have to let the equations take over, and dictate what the answer is, and not sprinkle any more intuition once the, once the equation has been formulated. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll uh, solve a few equations, we'll see the phenomenon of resonance, 
will then discuss on a semi-mathematical, semi-physics basis what resonance is, when it occurs, and then I'll break it down to the most intuitive uh, demonstration of why resonance uh, takes place, which I discovered in a book by Helmholtz, one of the distinguished figures in this particular subject. Not just this subject, but everything having to do with hearing and eyesight and a lot of the physics of the physiology of physics, that doesn't sound right. Physics of physiology. Physics of physiology. And he was the first person to observe the retina. Uh, 